channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma hopefully none of the neighbours see me because this is going to be really awkward as you can see I just did a workout which was from the series day sweat it to shred ebook which does cost money so that's that I'm up to week four out of week eight so this is at the end of week four because it's Friday today but I'm going to be taking you guys through a morning routine I know I did one of these not that long ago like at the start of isolation but I feel like I've actually got one like properly sorted now for isolation which is why I'm here to share it with you because I'm absolutely loving it so obviously it starts with a workout I got up at seven o'clock this morning I was a bit slow actually getting to the workout because obviously I had to vlog it which does take a little bit more time I'm getting the mail I ordered someone Anderson's cookbook because I, I wasn't gonna buy it and then I was like oh it's only 40 bucks like I feel like it'd be useful so I did so I'm waiting for it to come from Australia even though she's like a Kiwi person I got it from book depository currently 10 past 8 I get heaps of questions about my watch as well it is a series 2 GPS 38 millimeter watch they don't sell them anymore because I've had mine for like three and a half years so they've been long discontinued like this series. I started it a bit late but it was 30 minutes, a little bit longer than 30 minutes. 220, oh, 263 calories, average heartbeat of 157 so good workout but I'm gonna go have a shower because I forgot to put deodorant on so I stink so I'm gonna go have a shower. I apologise for this angle but that's just as high as my tripod goes. So I've had a shower, I washed my hair because I realised that I haven't washed it since Monday and today is Friday. Oh, I hate brushing up but I've had a shower, that one's weird. See now it's going on my shirt and making it look, I'm lactating. I'm literally sh like molting like a cat, it is disgusting. Throw my hair outside for the birds to make a mess with. I don't know if you guys can see, I tried to do my makeup yesterday for the first time in like forever like the first time in 2020 the first time since i filmed that video actually when i did it last year and my eye has had a reaction to the eyeshadow which is awesome i don't want to show you what it is because i know it's a good eyeshadow i think it's just my eyes but i'm gonna put some of this on it which is the avene eye contour cream this stuff is like liquid gold but oh, it is so good okay that should do the trick this is my third bottle of this that i've been through like since november last year so I'm now going to put on my jewellery and I get a lot of questions about well my jewellery box and my jewellery itself so the jewellery box with my initials on it my middle name is Jane if you're about to ask this is from the daily edited so it's like leather and like that so it holds all your jewellery and it's got like another compartment underneath where I've just got some other bits and it's got like an elastic bit so I'll show you all my jewellery because I get questions about this in like every second video so the one that I get the most questions about would be my necklace this is the Karen Walker Runaway Girl necklace so if you're from New Zealand chances are that you know someone or you know someone's friend who has one or your auntie or your mum someone you know is very highly likely to have this necklace because it is very common in New Zealand because Karen Walker is like a New Zealand designer and I also get questions about which size, so this is the small one. Next up we have my rings, which I also get a lot of questions about. So this is a Karen Walker ring, which is like the bow. The bow is the other like signature design that Karen Walker has, so I put that on not my ring thing, but like the opposite hand. Then I have the herringbone one, that's from Pandora, and that goes on my thumb on the same hand. Tiara ring, which also pretty much every girl in New Zealand has, and that goes on this finger. Then this zigzaggy. I actually really like this one because it is sparkly and that goes on my middle finger on this hand and then we have just like this one which is really similar to like the bottom of that one and that goes on this thumb. This is a new edition, well not really new but I, haven't, I don't think I've actually shown it on camera yet because obviously I don't show my feet on camera but it's an anklet that my friend Kayla got. I think Kayla got it for me like for like my 16th birthday maybe and I always had it sitting in my room but I just kept on like forgetting to wear it and then I had it sitting there I was like why am I not wearing this this is so cute so I started wearing it again and then next up we have this which is also new I oh, got it for my birthday it says positive vibes and it's like a is it rastaclat rastaclat band I'm pretty sure you got it from North Beach and it's just white and it's like a shoelace and it's adjustable and I really like it and when I put it on it reminds me of him which is really cool because I miss him a lot right now and then um, this is also something I get a lot of questions about it's literally just a plain silver chain and it's I got it for Christmas like two years ago and it's from Pasco's I'm pretty sure so it's just like that and then last but not least we have my Pandora bracelet which is from Pandora I don't know if they, they're as popular overseas as they are like New Zealand and Australia um, but basically you buy the bracelet and then you buy charms and charms are like 40 to $200 each depending on whether they're gold or silver or 
got stones in them or whatever. And at the moment, the perfume I'm currently wearing, well, I kind of switched between two. So I've got the Oh So Sweet Daisy Love and the Days Daisy Love, both by Marc Jacobs. I got this one, like, last year sometime. It's kind of, like, weird because it's got, like, this special thing on it, but then it leaked when I went overseas and, like, peeled off. But anyway, it still does the job. And then this one I got for my birthday. So this is one I've kind of been wearing a bit more because it's obviously because it's new because I only got it, like, a month ago. Um, so... Mmm, it smells beautiful. Normally after this point in my morning routine, I would go have breakfast while I wait for my parents to get up because when they get up, we go for a walk, but they're already awake. So I'll have my breakfast when we get back from our walk. Let's go for a walk. It is 10 o'clock and we just got back from our walk. So that took like an hour, but it was just mum and I because dad has a Zoom call with all his high school friends. <laughs> Time to go make breakfast. It's going to be a montage because my dad's downstairs in the lounge on Zoom with all his pals, so I don't want to like... <laughs> be speaking out loud because it's gonna sound really weird of me talking to myself in the background so cue montage of me making my breakfast what happened after this it is now monday and i don't i didn't think i remembered filming an outro and that's because i didn't film one so here i am doing the outro i was gonna get my camera out but trying to save because my the battery on it screwed so i'm trying to save the battery like the full charge for a video i'm filming tomorrow which might go up before this but i don't know yet but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um sorry this outro isn't a proper outro okay okay well anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you're staying safe hope you're staying well hope that this what the heck hope you're staying safe hope you're staying well gonna ignore this i don't know what's happening make someone smile and i'll see you guys in my next video hey <clears throat> oh well i was at kelly school like 40 years ago that's okay no judgment brush your teeth time <laughs> smile